Hi, my name is David Gawley from Pentagon Solutions. I'm a member of the Digital and Asset Integration team. In this short video, we're going to have a look at searching for documents in an engineering document management system via metadata and content within the document. We're going to use Accruance Document Management System. The interface that we're going to have a look at is the Power Web Client. And it's typical of what a facility owner's environment will look like because it'll have thousands of documents and records from models, drawings, PDFs, images and work orders. Meridian manages all these documents with change management workflows, revisions and even integrates with the likes of asset management systems to name a few features. So we can see we're in the Power Web client and sometimes the client or operator just simply wants to search for data rather than drilling all the way through documents. And these could be very simple searches to start with. So I'm just looking for any files that are DWGs. I'll just do star.dwg. Equally so, I could look for microstation files. I'll do star.dgn. If I wanted to do a wildcard search on the actual file name itself, I could say anything that contains ABB. But these are all simple searches that you can perform in most common data environments or most engineering document management systems. What we want to do is drill down further into the metadata and content within the file. Well, so what do I mean by metadata? Well, if I look at the properties behind the document itself, it has rich documentation, it's rich metadata behind that on the details and title sheets and information, not just about the name of the file. So let's take it back to a high level and actually do a more detailed search. So under my search functionality, I can find files and folders. I'm going to go into find. Um, I'm just going to reset any find filters in here. And we can see we can do a search criteria based on certainly proper data. We can also look at document types or references related to them. So a quick example, if I just wanted to look at facility documents and did a quick find, this will find all the documents that are classified as facility documents. So it's found well over 1800 documents. So if I was to drill down further in that, I could add in additional information. I could say, well, let's look at some search criteria related to the actual name. So if I scroll down through this, I could look at the name and say where it contains DWG. And I could add that to the list and do a find again. So it's filtering through this, the facility documents that are DWGs, and it's found 983. Again, if I had a look at that search facility or search information and added some additional criteria in there, I could say there's a particular plant that I want to have a look at. And this is drilling further into the metadata. So I could say, well, it needs to equal and have a look at all the different plant lists. So I'm going to pick Exton in here and we're just going to add that to the list. But notice I have, I'm not ticking all the criteria must be met. So when I do a find now, where we had 983, we're back up to 1800 plus. That's because it's finding all the criteria that meets um, the conditions. So it's, it's an OR function in there. So if I go back into my find, we can actually say, well, no, all the criteria must be met. So in this case, now when we do a find, it's only going to look at the DWGs belonging to Exton that are part of facility documents and it's found 792. So that's looking at the actual file type and it's looking at the metadata on the file. What happens about the content within it? Well, let's go back into that find and add in one more property field. And the property field that we're going to have a look at is the content within the file. So we're going to look at the document content. And we're going to say where the document content contains and I've got a typical pump type or a typical valve type that I may want to search, 320AP, and that could be common throughout my facility. And I'm going to add that to the list and I'm going to do a find now. So we've got 330 documents. We're drilling down further. They're only DWGs. They're related to this specific plant. But let's just see where it got that information from. So we'll pick on one of these files. We can see the document types facility document. We can see it belongs to Exton and it's a DWG. But what about the content within the file? 
So when I click on the rendition, what Meridian actually does is searches the content within the file itself. So when it brings this document up, and if I scroll in, I can use this search feature to look at that 320AP, and you can see it's found a multitude of different 320APs. In fact, I can have a look at the list of them on the rendition. And this is text, or this is dynamic text, or this is attributes within the actual file itself. But sometimes facilities owners need to dig a lot deeper than that, and they might have individual asset information they want to have a look against. So we're going to go back into our search, we're going to have a look at find, and we're going to drill down that information a little bit further. So where it said uh, 320 AP, I'm going to make it 606 A, and we're going to go find now. So what it's done now is find only one document out of those thousands of documents against that unique reference. So I can click on it and view the document and drill down a little bit further and I can search the content within the file. So again, hitting the search within that information, I'm just going to zoom in to do that. I'm going to do my search and I'm going to type in my 606A. So you can see it's found the actual globe file that that is tied to. And really, if I have a look in AutoCAD, what that's doing is having a look at the actual attribute information. It's scanning that information in the rendition or native file, and it's bringing that information to the screen. So the final part in here is we can add any of these searches into what's called dynamic searches. So you can see in this instance, I've added a dynamic search. So that means as documents get added that are related to this, they'll get added to that dynamic search in the future. And again, that search can also be edited uh, as well. So we can click on the information behind it and we can edit the search criteria at any stage and save that out. So in this video, we've seen that searching for information is key to owning and maintaining digital asset records. The demonstration has illustrated the power behind using an engineering document management system to search for metadata related to the file and filter through the content within the file. Thanks for watching. Please do click subscribe on our YouTube and to be kept up to date with future videos you can also follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter.